we can divide the priorities of life into five. The priorities of life, God first. God first. And to us young ones as well, I want you to know that God comes first. Because if not for God, there will be nobody called you. And there will be nobody called me. But the book of Matthew 10, 35. Can we open to that? Matthew 10, 35. Praise the Lord. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Matthew 6, 33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all other things shall be added unto you. We keep us the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All other things shall be added unto you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So we need to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all other things shall be added unto us. We want money, we want fame, we want properties, we want every other thing that we want. When you acknowledge God into, in your life, when you give God the, 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 the right standing in your life, you give God his position in your life, you put God first, all other things will come. And then the next priority is family. After God comes our family. Because our family is our first ministry. All of us have been called into a ministry, and that ministry is your family. If you are married, your family is your first, first ministry. What are you doing to serve that family? What are you doing in that family that will be reckoned unto you that, oh, she did this when she was here? What are you doing as a father that your children and your wife can say about you that he did this? As a father, you are the priest of the house. As a father, you are the priest. You are the, you are the, you are the head of the, of the home. That is how God wants it. Are you providing for the needs of your family? Are you meeting the needs of everyone spiritually, physically, in every aspect of life? Are you meeting the need of that family? As a mother, what role are you playing in that family? Your family is your first ministry. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. So our priorities in life is God first and then family. And the top priority should be the church. We are the church of God, not the building. God has called us to be able to serve, to support one another. The word of God says, do not forsake the assemb uh, assemble of the children of God. Do not forsake the fellowship with other believers. Because that is how we will grow. We will abound to every good works. That is what God expects of us. That is what God wants us to do. So if you say, I'm a Christian. If you say, oh, I've had God in my life. I know Jesus. My name is written in, in the book of life. And I've set my priorities like right in life. God is my first priority. And my family comes next. And you are not going to any church then you have missed it. May the Lord help us not to miss it in Jesus' name. Amen. So we need to belong to a Bible-believing church where we can grow. We need to be, belong to a church where the Word of God is shared, where we can be fed, where we can be nurtured, where God will use us to be able to meet and minister to the needs of others. Because as the pastor is meeting your needs spiritually, if you are blessed with the... Um, with the um, fruit of the Spirit, with the gifts of the Spirit, God will use you to bless others. God will use you to support your pastor. God will use you to minister to the needs of others. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Then the next priority is to our country. Are you a responsible citizen? In what way are you ministering to the needs of people around you? In what way are you demonstrating the love of God? The Bible said that we are the epistles being read by all men. In your country, in your county, in your environment, in your community, that place where you live, in your school, in your workplace, among your colleagues, among your mates, how are you demonstrating the love of God? How are you living your life? May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. So our country, our immediate environment is another priority because God wants us to set our priorities right in order to live a successful life. In order to have a successful journey in life. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. I will be um, 
sharing with us uh, some Bible passages that we can uh, go home and read because of our time, because this message is only short. And then the last priority is our work. The Word of God says, whatever your hand finds to do, do it well. Our work. For a young man and a woman who is not setting their priorities right, if you put a, a man, for, for example, a young girl who puts a boy as his top priority has already failed in the journey of life because that should be, that should be somewhere down below. God should be first. God first, then your family, then your church, then others come, then your work. You cannot put somebody else as your top priority and expect to succeed in life. You cannot put something that's supposed to be last, something that's supposed to be the least on the ladder of life, put it at the top and expect to succeed. Now, in order for us to set our priorities right, it's only God that helps people to set their priorities right. You cannot do anything, you cannot plan anything, unless God helps you, unless God lays it in your heart. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, the book of... Um, I just want to read something for us that I put down you know, as a note here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So as we are setting our priorities right as Christians, it bothers down to, in our physical life as well, being organized. When people say to you, you need to be organized, that means you need to do what is first first. Assuming a student going to school, you've got exams on Monday, you did not study, you did not do anything as per study at all. And on Monday morning, instead of getting ready and going out to school, you want to go and visit a friend first. As that person prioritizes, may the Lord help us in Jesus' name. And you, I'm using all these simple examples so um, the youths among us and the children can understand. We need to be organized. When you have played with some toys, put them back. When your house is in disarray, organize it. Put everything right. Because the Spirit of God cannot dwell in a dirty environment. God is holy. And if we want God to visit us, we want the Holy Spirit to be within us, then we have to be holy, we have to be clean. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. So many times we take um, things of God for granted. God wants us to prioritize our lives so that we will not be found wanting in the end. Mm. What are the priorities in your own life? What is the most important thing? I wrote down here, what are the priorities in your own life and what are, the, what are the most important things to you? These questions can always be answered by looking at where you spend most of your time. Do you spend most of your time on uh, Facebook, on Snapchat, on Instagram? Because technology has advanced, it is very helpful, but it's detrimental in a way because even when husband and wife are sat together, one is holding the phone, the other one is holding the iPad, you have no time for each other. There's no communication. Children are at home. They are on one internet, um, something or the other. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. So to be able to set your priorities right, you need to ask yourself, what are those things that are most important to me in life? Where am I spending most of my time? Am I spending, spending most of my time on the internet? Am I spending most of my time reading the Bible, trying to know more about God? Am I spending most of my time in prayer? Am I spending most of my time thinking about God and the things of God? May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. So what you are doing at the time that you have, maybe you've only got two hours of rest in a day, or you've got eight hours of sleep, what are you doing with those, those hours? We need to ask ourselves. Too many people are seemingly just wasting the precious minutes in life. The precious minutes of life that God has given us, they are wasting it on tri trivialities that have no eternal consequence, that ha have no eternal value, except to cause them to miss out on God's best. God has got the best of plans. God has got the best of things for us in, 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 on our heartly journey. But we can only access them if we give God the top priority. If we put God first. There is no life of success that comes outside God. Even if the devil gives you success, he will take something back in return. And it will take the life of that person in return. And where would that person end? In hell. But every good success comes from the Lord. 
Can we open to the book of uh, Joshua 1 8? Somebody read that for us. God said, God was speaking to Joshua when it was his time. He had the mandate to lead the people of Israel to the promised land. And somebody found it. Joshua 1 8. And in order to succeed, in order to get these people to the promised land, and in order to, 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 to set your priorities right, do not let the word of God depart from your mouth. From your mouth. Study. Dwell in it. So you might have good success. Have you seen it? Yeah. Read it for us, please. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, and thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So now we see now, in order to have good success, everything that pertains to holiness and righteousness, everything that pertains to a good life, all the answers to life's questions, everything is in the word of God. But how many minutes, how many hours do we spend reading the word of God in a day? May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. If we ladies want to make up, we can spend three hours in, this, in, the, in, the, in the front of the mirror, putting layers and layers on. I'm not against people who are using makeup. I'm just saying that. I'm not using that as an example. We can put layers and layers on, different colors and everything. How many hours are we spending in the things of God? Don't let us just be spending our, our precious time on trivialities of this world. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, we all know that mankind needs to prioritize to succeed. Um, if you are going on a journey, you need to prioritize, you need to plan, or else you will fail. We are on a journey. As long as we are alive, we are on a journey. And the journey of life entails so many things. There are, there are challenges on the way. There are success on the way. There are shortcomings on the way. There are different things on the way. So in order for us to succeed, we need to prioritize. We need to put God first. We need to live a life of prayer. We need to dwell in the word of God. Because without God, there's no success coming to anyone. To anyone. It is uh, difficult to choose between the affairs of this world and Christ's teachings. Christ stated, if anyone comes to me and does not eat his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, his own life also, cannot be my disciple. And whosoever does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. That is in the book of uh, Luke 14, 26 to 27. Christ does not mean that we should stop caring for each, each other or members of our family. It simply means to prioritize, to put God's force, to invest in our heaven, to invest in the kingdom things. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, he further said that no one, having put his hand to the plow and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of God. In, in that same book of Luke. So if we, acknowledge, if we have acknowledged God in our lives, if we give him the top and foremost priority, we are not to look back if we have already done that. But if we have not done that and we want to have a life of success, if we want to have the best in life, I'm imploring us, the word of God is coming to you and I, to put God first. We need to put God first and live our lives in the fear of God. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. So as that song implied, the song I sang at the beginning of this message, that one day at a time, we need to live our lives one day at a time. But make sure each day and each time is God first. You are thinking about starting a business? God first. You are planning to, to, to apply to a school, apply for a job? God first. It is your faith in God, it is the prayer and the, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the position you put God that will determine what will happen in the end. We are only human and we cannot do anything by ourselves. We need to acknowledge that we are only human. And as a human being, your, your power, your knowledge, your wisdom, everything is limited. It is only God that can help us to succeed. There's a lot of battles in the journey of life. It's only God that can help us to, to, to conquer. It's only God that can bring victory our way. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. So we need to love God. We need to live our lives in, in the fear of Him. We need to put our relationship with God as first and foremost. We need to live our life in God's terms, not in your own terms, not in my own terms. There's the will of God. There's the will of man. The will of man is always in co contrary to the will of God. Because we think 
like carnally minded people, but if 